The Central Oregon Fire Management Service is partnering with fire departments around the region for training in fighting wildfires. The sessions provide scenario-based wildland firefighting tactics on the Crooked River National Grassland. Blake Mayfield attended today's training. Blake? The training is designed to improve communication between agencies and enhance firefighters' understanding of wildland firefighting suppression tactics. Fire crews and engines from around the, the region use this training to prepare for fire season. This is a really great interagency training opportunity for both wildland firefighters and our structural firefighter counterparts. The Central Oregon Fire Management Service partners with fire agencies across the region to provide structural firefighting crews scenario-based wildland firefighter training. Those firefighters usually are involved in extinguishing building fires, while wildland firefighters are called for wildfires in forests and other terrain. The training is designed to improve communication between agencies and enhance firefighters' understanding of wildland firefighter tactics. So this is a controlled environment, but it gives them that opportunity uh, to know how to call into dispatch, to work on their suppression techniques, to communicate with each other in the way that they would if they were responding to a brush fire outside of their municipality. The live fire portions of the training course took place near Grizzly Mountain, northwest of Prineville, in the Ochico National Forest. Dead juniper trees, along with surrounding sagebrush, were used to help ignite the small fires. Sun River Fire Department Deputy Chief Rod Jorvik says fire training like this helps all firefighters prepare for a wildfire scenario. Being out here and training live fire, uh, it really enhances that skill set, makes the participants safer and more efficient firefighters. The live fire training helps structural firefighters learn the basics of putting out a wildfire. Installing hose lays, digging hand line, mopping up, those type of basic things, they get practice as well. We want to do this when it's warm, uh, but not in the heat of fire season. We need to have this kind of stuff dialed in before we're in July, August, September, when we know we're going to get those fires. The training took place for the first time since 2019, with rain canceling last year's course. More than 100 participants from Crescent to Warm Springs took part in the live fire training. Blake Mayfield, News Channel 21.